All right, let's just jump into a deep dive love energy. Ooh. Two of Pentacles. Somebody could be at a place right now where they're juggling. A little indecisive. Four of Cups on the bottom. There could be some sort of energy here where they're discontent. They're not happy. They could be a little bored. Or there could have been some sort of missed opportunity here. And now this person's at a place in their life where it's time to make their next move. You know, we are at the end of the year going into a new year, depending upon when this reading is going to come out. And a lot of people are wanting their new year to be different than the last year. So this person could be in that same energy. This person could feel like you don't really care what people think about you. How do they view you right now? Not a swords. They view you as someone who's being very strategic. You're not making any reckless choices or decisions. You're not coming in quickly if you're coming in at all. They could view you as someone who's working right now. You're on the grind. You're paying attention. You're paying attention to the things that can bring you investments, bring you money, and that's it. Viewing you with the seven of wands after that as someone who's been fighting for something that they're working on but maybe you also have a wall up or a guard up when it comes to this person not really fully letting them in how are they viewing you none of wands they view you as someone who's wounded they view you as someone who would be willing to give a relationship a connection a friendship even a business partnership everything that they have you would put your soul on the table to make something work but you're also very picky about what you're willing to put your soul on the table for. And they see that. They know you've been wounded. They know you've been through things that have not treated you well. But you are willing to fight as long as you think it's a calculated fight. As long as you know... We can't go, th we can't go through life knowing that something's going to come to us a certain way. But your risks are calculated, even when it has to do with love. How else are they viewing you? I just heard, yep, and Six of Wands come out. I just heard with the Six of Wands coming out with that, someone who's on top of their game. And then the Six of Wands come out. So they see you as someone who's very successful right now, victorious, abundant. Maybe you're getting recognized. If they have any sense of means to see if people are paying attention to you or telling you how good you look, they're definitely doing that. Again, a strong energy here of feeling like they didn't maybe take some sort of offer. Or if they did, they were discontent. Hmm. So how are they feeling for you at this moment? They're, they're a little unsure how to get this back going. They feel like they're, they can't move this out of rough waters into calmer waters. They feel like the passion, the spark could be gone, could be done. Wanting, and here's the thing, it isn't that they don't feel this way for you. They still have passion for you. They are still into you. If you called me up right now and said, hey, come over, I'm feeling a little lonely. I'm there. Give me however long it's going to take. Eight hours, 30 minutes, whatever. Five, I'll be there. But the Knight of Wands can also be a in and out, not really stable type of energy. And you don't want that. So they do still feel very passionately drawn towards you. They still feel like if you were walking on the side of the street, they might want to cat call you. Like, I mean, this person can't help their self. But they also feel that although I feel all of this towards you, I don't know how to move this out of rough waters into calmer waters. I don't know how to get this passion and this creativity back. I don't know how to get you to see that you want to actually invest with me the way I want to invest with you. There could be something here that they want you to learn about them or vice versa. Something that they want to learn about you. They could be at a point where they're ready to actually sit down and listen to some things that come out of your mouth. Ready to complete a cycle. Hmm. So they want to do something differently this time around with you. But with strength on the bottom, it would take a lot of strength. It would take a lot of courage. They would have to come into this connection in this relationship constantly telling themselves, but you got to do it differently this time. You got to do it differently this time. And that's going to take time. 
And maybe that's something that breaks their heart because they want equal give and take with you. But realistically, they can't come in and sweep you off your feet, which means it's going to take time. It's going to take patience. It's going to take dedication. That takes strength. That takes courage. That takes someone closing the door in your face and saying, I don't want to see you. And you saying, okay, well, I'll sit out here. And when you're ready to see me, let me know. Or I guess you can call the cops either way. But I'm not leaving because I love you. And I just want you to hear me out. That. Mm. Okay, so give me more on that. So why are they... I don't even know what to ask. Why are they feeling so... Unsure, the lovers. Not sure if love can conquer all. There's a part of them that believes love can, but there's a part of them that knows that you've seen a side of them that wasn't honest, that wasn't truthful. The Seven of Swords can be a liar, a cheater, a thief, someone who's sneaky, someone who can be a little bit manipulative, feeling like you have fully seen their shadow side. You've seen a side of them that maybe some people have never seen. Can you forget that? Can, can love conquer all? Is there really a way for me to come in like the movie show it and me say, no, I'm going to be here for you. This is what I want. It's like this person, if they knew that if they could come in and give it everything and it would work out, they would do it. But there is that possibility that I can sit here and try to give this everything and tell you I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to fight for this. I'm going to fight for this connection. I know I've done wrong, but I want to show you. I want to prove. What if it's just a waste of time? What if I'm closing a door and I'm going towards this bright, happy future with Pisces and I've been longing for this this whole time and I realize the tables have turned? And that you don't want me anymore. And that no matter what I do, no matter what I say, no matter how I treat you, how good, what I buy you, it's never going to make you look at me differently. But there's a part of them that wants to believe love can conquer all. Feeling that deep in their heart. But also recognizing again that you've seen sides of them that was not the best. Queen of Cups that made you turn your back on them that made you actually hold back and say, I've learned who you are. The page of pinnacles can also mean you really learned in this connection what you don't want in someone. You were emotionally loving, giving, nurturing, compassionate, and caring, and you had to turn your back and, and hold everything back from this person. You had to say, no, I'm done giving because you don't deserve it. And that could have been something that was really hard to carry. Ooh, this one. This person could have loved, for some of you, the taste of your lips. I don't know. I, I don't know. How are they viewing this connection? Four of Cups. Again, something that was like a missed opportunity. Something that was not built. They There was no stability built here. Because someone maybe lacked the strength. Someone felt that this connection could have been maybe too overwhelming. Too much. This person could have seen this connection as like a burden. Not recognizing that maybe they were the burden. As I said that, the devil's here. So there could have been some sort of toxic way of thinking or being or showing up. Or just even maybe a sense of expectation of what a connection was supposed to look like or what a relationship was supposed to look like. Some of us have been there. I know I have. I've, I've been that toxic person who's like, but no, this is what a relationship looks like. Not realizing that our relationships look different and just because I want something doesn't mean that the other person does. They didn't have the strength to tell you that they either didn't want the responsibility or that they felt it was too much. But they do feel that they missed out on this because they lacked the strength. There could have been something here to do with lack, either not feeling enough, feeling like, 
and I'm going to say it because I heard it, feeling like there was something more out there, not realizing the thing that they had was the most that they were going to get. Mm. How are they viewing this connection? It's something that burdens them. Yeah, because they feel like this is like an author who would almost completely write their book and then stop on the last page and never finish that last page. We were so close. Why did we stop? Why did we give up? Lack of communication. Could have been maybe difference of opinions. There could have been some sort of drama or conflict or even beef here where there wasn't communication. There wasn't really understanding or learning. Again, maybe someone here didn't have the strength to do that because that was a burden. That's too much. Let's not fix it. Let's just, let's run. Which brought an ending. And now this person wants to come back. And that's where they're at right now. They're at a crossroads. They're losing a lot of sleep. They're feeling anxious because... Here's the thing. The thing they're losing sleep over is how they showed up. And with the Five of Swords, there could have been an energy here where they did not show up in a way that's going to make you want to invest. But now they want investment. So what's going to be their intentions when they come in? I'm obsessed with this deck of cards. High Priestess. Trying to use their intuition. Page of Swords. Wanting to give truth but they could, I'm getting a, I'm going to read the room and read your energy type of vibe. It's like this person, if you meet up with them or you talk on the phone with them, I don't feel like they're going to want to talk on the phone. I feel like this is going to be someone who's going to want to either um, video chat or see you in person because I want to be able to read your facial expression so then I know what to say, what to say is my truth. They're going to try to use, listen to their intuition when it comes to this, Seven of Wands, wanting to drop their guard, but having a lot of fear behind that because it's, they're wanting to move this forward, wanting to make this right, wanting to make this fair, wanting to ask for a second chance, but I feel like if they feel that you're going to say no, that they won't even act like I wasn't calling for a second chance. Like, that's the kind of energy here I'm getting. I just heard my ego can't handle rejection. I don't... Okay. So, what's going to be their intentions when they come in? Yeah. Wanting to speak some sort of truth. Something to do about change and transformation. But they could still be fully hiding something. They're not going to tell you everything. And there could also have been something that's ended in their life that had to do with equal give and take where they might not tell you the truth on that either. So if they've lost a job or if they were in a connection and it's crumbled, if something's happened, they might not actually tell you that the thing that they wanted to give to and that they chose felt like a fail. They felt left out. They felt ignored. They didn't feel happy. They felt... Like they had to constantly have a wall up. It could have for some of them even put them in a place where they felt that they needed to drink constantly or drink more. But see, that's the thing. They don't want to come in and tell you, Pisces, I really want to invest with you. I miss you. I felt like I really got what I deserved when you, me and you were hanging out. They ain't going to tell you that. Because it's like this person doesn't want to be that vulnerable. Because they don't want some sort of drama or conflict. They could not want to hear I told you so. This person could definitely come in and want to keep this connection. Um, this is going to be someone who could want to keep a closeness to you, a tie to you, a connection with you without really having something deep. Because again, it's like I'm seeing someone like constantly put their toe in a pool, checking the temperature. Let me check the temperature with you first. Let me kind of get my foot in the door and, you know, let me be your friend again. And let's kind of see if you might be open to me making a move on you. And it has to do with them being scared of being rejected. Why do they think you might reject them? Because something happened. They could have come in and went right the hell back out. 
They could have come in and wanted to control the circumstance or the situation, and that could be something they're losing a lot of sleep over, is that they are recognizing that this cycle could completely be done. You could have closed the chapter of that book and threw that book out. So when they come home and go, hey, where's that book? You're going to be like, oh, I threw it away. What was your name again? That's what they're terrified of. Terrified. Really thinking about the fact that this is over, wanting to offer something but not wanting to be left out in the cold, knowing that you've done a lot of healing and that's another juggling here. You know, are you going to let me back in? Why do they feel like you won't let them back in? Because you want new. There could be something here as well where you're giving yourself self-love. You're only willing to give people your cup and your love if you feel like they, they give back. There could also be something here as well where they see that you have a lot of options coming in. Yep. And that you want someone who's actually going to back up what they're offering. You want someone who can see the possibilities. You want someone who's going to put in the effort and the time. Someone who can see what you can make this connection with and not run from it, but run towards it. So why do they want to come in now? Why now? So some sort of healing and reflection has made them want to come back. They've been not wanting to look at this. This person has not wanted to recognize maybe what they've done, what's been happening. Why? Because there was a very unbalanced, egotistical part of them that come out. They just now got to a point where they're moving out of rough waters into calmer waters. They could have just got to a point where they feel like they've even recognized that you deserve an apology. They weren't being very practical or logical in the past. If anything, they were being very cold and detached and only speaking truths that would work for them. You could have reminded them of somebody from their past as well. Not wanting to change their ways. They could be lying, saying that they've changed something about them, but they haven't. Just throwing that out there. Doing a lot of reflection on how they could, you know, it, it's so, I heard I can be happy with anyone, but I wanted to be happy with you. But I just find it so interesting that it took an ending and self-reflection for them to see that. But for you, you started recognizing that maybe this person wasn't aligned with you all along. They weren't willing to do the work. They weren't willing to compromise or be vulnerable or even build a new foundation with you. They felt that their foundation was good and you felt it was faulty and it was unsturdy. So I feel like it also made you really look at what you wanted, what you valued in a connection. And it really made you start seeing everyone as a potential suitor unless you know for a fact that they're in a connection. It was like, well, you know what? The whole world is my oyster and we have, what, 8 billion people in the world? Like, that's a lot of people. A lot. All right, let's get this deep love energy. What is this person thinking and feeling? What is this person thinking and feeling for my Pisces? Verge. I'm about to confess my feelings. I'm hoping you'll be willing to listen. That's what I'm saying. Feeling desperate. Wanting some sort of answers. Wanting you to talk to them. They're going to be really mad if you don't. They're not wanting to force it, but they're feeling desperate like they need to speak to you. There could be some sort of healing that's going to come out of this. Them healing, but also this conversation is going to be healing. Maybe for both of you. I'm coming up with a plan and an offer that you can't refuse. Exactly. Trying to figure out what would work for them. Yeah, they couldn't be trusted in the past for sure. Maybe now they can be. But again, if you dealt with someone that couldn't be trusted, it's going to be really hard when they come back in for you to believe what they say. See, and this is what I'm saying. This person could have been unfazed when you guys separated. But now, you could have been focusing on yourself recently and making a lot of moves in silence. So, nobody could really ruin your plan. 
And this person could have ended up keeping this love and, and this actual obsession with you in secret. You know, acting so unfazed, but not recognizing that this actually threw them in a spiraling energy. And needing to make up their mind. Are they wanting to continue to act like you don't care? Are they wanting to continue to stay in denial and not want to change and be helpless to where they're at? For some of you, they're feeling really haunted by their divorce. That's going to be for some of you. Acting like it doesn't bother them, but they're so haunted by it that it affects their every move and their every action. Hmm. Give me an overall for this person. What does Pisces need to know about this love? Yes. An external party is intruding. Yep, there could have definitely been another person. You guys could have definitely been on different pages. It also says retreat. Time alone or nature is going to help you recharge. This person could love nature. They could love vacations. That could be you as well. So you and this person don't necessarily share the same vision. And I feel like you've really accepted that. But again, they could be coming back in for some sort of closure. With that being said, you're protected. So no matter what is said, no matter what is done, you are going to be protected. You know how to handle this person. You know when this person's lying. You know when they're telling the truth. Um, this person could be longing for you. They could be longing for some sense of recommitment. They could be wanting to take some sort of leap towards you, but they could have a lot going on. You know, they're wanting to take a leap towards you, but there's still a little bit of an unavailable energy. They could just be wanting to take a leap because they want to be with you. They're, again, really attracted to you. They could also be having a lot of money issues, or maybe it's one of those issues where it's like they get $100 in the bank, then they have to spend 150 and they just feel like life won't... <laughs> Excuse me. Life won't take a break. Um, for some of you, this person was brought into your life for you to understand that just because you have chemistry with someone doesn't mean that it's a stable connection. And we have to have boundaries. We have to make sure that we're loving ourselves first and saying, okay, is this person showing up correctly for me? And do they deserve the part of me that they're wanting or that they're expecting? So, yeah. This person's definitely wanting to come back in. Now, when are they going to come back? When? When's the next action being taken? When? The star. It's a lot of hoping. They're in a juggling energy right now. Is it worth the time? Is it worth the effort? This person could be wanting to go on some sort of vacation with you. Planning for the future, knowing that there could be success and victory with you, but feeling that they, there could be some sort of guarded energy. They could be wanting to tell you something, some sort of secret or reveal something to you. For some of you, this could be some sort of baby or something to do with the baby. There could be some sense of sadness and disappointment. This could be something that this person's been hiding from you. That's only going to be for some of you. Action. Okay. Something here to do with divine timing and it not being the right time. So right now they're hopeful and they're conflicted, which is why they're in that juggling energy because they want a new beginning, but they're holding back because they're like, okay, should I still take some more time? If I do, do I think Pisces is going to move on? If Pisces moves on, what do I feel I'm going to think about that? It's like this person is overthinking. They're so in their head and just overanalyzing. It's honestly, it's insane watching this person could be trying to keep tabs on you gathering information about you this person has a lot of regrets they're wanting to give to you equally so this would be someone like if you text them they'll text back this person could be feeling a little depressed really wanting to hold back from people really feeling like they have to suffer in silence feeling like no one understands them this person also feels again like the color's been sucked out of their life for a lot of you, things are not what it appears to be with this person. And that's that moon, is that there's going to be things that comes out in that conversation once it's had, and it doesn't look like it's right now, 
where you're going to be like, but you were acting like this. And then that that's when them aha moments come in like, oh, so I was right. You liked me. You were vibing. You did miss me. Like, that's the kind of energy I'm getting here. Okay. But they've been trying to block thoughts and memories and it's not been working. Holding back's not working. Holding back's just making them even more imbalanced, ready to be opened, trying to gather information, watching you, trying to figure you out, feeling like you still might not be receptive. And that's their worry. So right now they're in an indecisive, I'm unsure what I should do type of energy. And it's simply overthinking. I feel like they're trying to procrastinate because in their mind, if they continue to procrastinate, there's still a decision to be made. And when we make a decision and we take action and we get an answer, it can then make our future very clear. And if we're fantasizing about what we want our future to be, and then we take action on that and it doesn't work out, there could be some healing that has to be involved in that experience. There has to be healing that we have to go through to get past that. So I feel like that's why this person is so indecisive. Because there is an energy of, okay, this is make it or break it. We're either going to be together or we're not. All right, my loves, we're actually going to leave them here. My, oh, my, how them tables turn. All right, guys, have a blessed day.